Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Holiday season is in full swing, and I hope you had an amazing Christmas and an even better New Year's. Uh, but we're going to take this time to check out the holiday mold for 2023 from Epic Bait Molds. And apparently this is going to be a new thing that's starting. They're going to do a limited time mold kind of during the holidays. Uh, I was able to get one on Black Friday with my order. Uh, it is a 3.8 inch open pour and it is a three cavity worm. And it's going to be awesome for Ned Rigs and things of that nature. And that's probably how I'm going to throw it is on a Ned Rig. But there's probably many different ways to rig this. This is just how I'm going to do it. Uh, as far as colors go, I have a really unique color mixed up right now. It is Borealis and Ghost Trout from the 8-Bit Powder Collection. And it is mixed together in just some scraps I had. We're going to pour it uh, into here and check it out. And then we're going to break out a new powder, probably a gold color, uh, and pour some worms. And just check it out. We don't do a lot of open pours here on the channel, so it'd be a good time to check that out. And just see how it goes. But let's get into it. Here's a little close-up of that color. Check it out. It is very unique. Has a lot of different highlights going on in there. I'm going to heat this up just a little bit more uh, and then we'll start doing some open pours. Let's go ahead and try to pour some of this. You can see all the crazy effects in that. Uh, it is quite the color. That is that mixture I was telling you about uh, with the Borealis and Ghost Trout. Just has a little bit of black in it and it seems to be a pretty nice color. So I'm just going to start on this back one, work my way forward. I like to try to hit this middle section here because it is probably the easiest section to hit. And then I work my way up and then back down. Just get it started nice and slow. It's a little harder to do this with a two cup amount like I'm doing, but it's still doable. Try to stay in the lines. Okay. See if we can get it to quit dripping here. All right, next. Same thing. This requires a lot of concentration. It's very hard to do too much when you're doing this. Okay, now we're going to work our way back down. Okay. Top it off. And let it quit dripping. Sometimes I have to wipe the tip of my uh, cup off here. That way it's not causing any problems. And we'll move on and do the third one. Here we go. Make sure we get that full there. If it's cold outside, I'd also recommend heating your mold up. I just heated this up with a heat gun just to make sure I didn't get any cold cracking or where it just didn't want to run right. Okay. And there we go. We are nice and full. And we'll check these out when they cool off. Okay, this is the second color. This is gold member. Uh, and what I did is I added two drops of black and two drops of MF transparent chartreuse just to add a little bit of a base color to it. Uh, and it looks really awesome. But this is a pretty full cup. So I'm going to shoot a couple swim baits and then we'll do our open pour. Now that I've got this low enough that we can actually do a pour, let's see about doing that. Oh yeah, that's a cool color. I added a little bit of black flake to this, and I think that's really going to top this off even better. Wow, that is a cool color. I'm actually excited to see that in those shatter baits I just shot. It's going to look really awesome. This is very hard to do one-handed. I'm not steady enough for this. Okay, I don't know if you can see how well that's coming through, but pretty sweet color. I'm excited to see what these look like uh, when we demold them. All right, guys, look at these awesome baits. That gold member just makes a crazy gold effect on that green. I think if I was going to try it again, I might try to do maybe a little bit more of a yellow base, but just look at how much of that gold is coming through there. 
just makes an insane effect. I only had 6mm gold eyes, so I went ahead and threw some of them on there just to clear out the stack as I'm switching over to that 8mm size. Then this is the next color, which is pretty crazy when you look at all the different colors coming through here. Uh, this is Borealis and Ghost Trout mixed together with a little bit of black background. And just look at how many different colors are popping through there. And I stuck some crazy 8mm eyes on those. And then this is some blue crawl that I just had laying around that I threw in here earlier just to test out the mold, and it looks amazing as always. That is one crazy color that you can't ever just, it just never gets old. It's always awesome, so definitely checking some of that out in that holiday worm as well. But yeah, let's take these outside and get a look at them in the sunlight. Okay, guys, check them out outside. Even adds even more crazy effect to these. And I am very impressed. I'm not a big fan of doing open pours, but that holiday worm is pretty dang easy to pour. It's got a decent size opening, so if you're just getting into open pours, uh, it is very easy to pour. And I am extremely happy with the results. That's going to make some crazy good Ned Rigs, I think. Something a little longer, and it's just going to be uh, quite nice, I think. And the swim baits turned out good. They were just bonuses. Wasn't really planning on doing them, but I had the extra... So I figured I'd throw them in the video for you anyways, and I hope you guys did enjoy taking a look at this. So that is a little look at the 3.8 inch open pour worm mold from Epic Bait Molds. This holiday mold is limited time. Don't know if it's still available. I'll leave a link in the description below as always to Epic Bait Molds. You can head on down there uh, and check if not, and they don't have them anymore. They don't plan on bringing them back, but you might find one floating around secondhand. So take a look at that uh, as well. Maybe you can find one that way. Another thing, if you want to pick up any of the baits that we made today, I'm not going to have a ton of the holiday worms on the site. These are just going to be a specialty item that I make when I get time and when I have extra plastic. And I'll keep some on the site here and there, so just check back if there are not any there. But I'm going to have those and the swim baits we made today on the site. You can check them out. Uh, as far as ordering goes, though, I have always been a little bit of cheap with the... Uh, freebies that I put in my bag, not necessarily the baits, but like the stickers that I include in my bags. So I've stepped that up recently. Uh, if you spend under $20, you will get two of these stickers. These are pretty nice. They're a lot better than the label style stickers that I've been making. You can use these wherever, uh, and they are a little bit of an upgrade. These are 1.75 inch. And if you spend over $20 on the site, I'll also throw in one of these three inch stickers. Pretty nice looking stickers. They're kind of a satin black with that white logo on the top. And if you don't want to spend $20 to get one of these, I'll put them on the site as well where you can just buy the sticker. I'm going to keep them as cheap as I can, uh, but I have to make sure that if somebody goes on the site and just orders one sticker, that it's not going to cost me money to send it. So as long as I can break even on them, you know, that's all I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to make any money on these per se. So, and I don't know if these were announced in another video or not. I have a lot of stuff recorded right now, so bear with me if it has been. But we also have 11-ounce tumblers you can check out. These are pretty cool. The logo feels really nice on these. It's actually like a raised texture, and it feels really good in the hand. These are not dishwasher safe, so if the dishwasher is the end-all be-all for you and you don't hand-wash nothing, these probably aren't the cup for you. These are hand-wash only, but they do feel very nice in the hand. And we should have some more options, hopefully some that are dishwasher safe as well. But I've been testing these out uh, here around the shop, and I've been pretty dang happy with them. So definitely check that out if it's something that interests you. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. It does help the channel out. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next video.